Bedtime is your time to develop a soothing sleep routine where you may enjoy all the healing powers of your imagination. You are listening to Mystical Castle in Scotland, a sleep story and guided meditation to induce sleep. Find yourself in the Scottish Highlands, walking along the seaside cliffs and through the rolling green hills of an estate, immersed in the mysticism of eras gone by. A storm rolls in, and you find refuge in a castle from the 15th century. You roam the historic rooms with a fluffy white cat in tow, and eventually retire in a suite fit for royalty. As a fire roars and shadows dance on the ancient stone walls, you succumb to the pleasures of magical nostalgia and deep, healing sleep. It's time to dream away. I would like to welcome you to Michelle's Sanctuary. I am Michelle, and as you are listening, you may think of my voice as that of your dear friend and trusted guide. I am here to bring you down from the stresses of the day as you cloak yourself in soothing sensations of coziness and peace. You have earned the special time to relax and unleash the powers of your imagination. The tailwinds of your creativity may lead you wherever you desire to go. And you may customize this experience however you see fit, letting go of my voice before the story ends if sleep beckons to you. You are free of judgment and all the noise of the outside world in the sanctuary of your mind and of your room. Have you considered all the miraculous things going on right now in the present moment? You are life. You are part of centuries of inventions and evolution that bring you this comfortable place to sleep, sheltered, and secure. Nestle into your bed and let your body become heavy and relaxed by the thoughts of gratitude for this moment in time. As you sink deeper and deeper down, you take in a breath that fills your lungs to their utmost capacity. You let your breath become a proud yawn, for you have earned this yawn and many more. And then you sigh audibly if you like. Your eyes are now closed and your eyelids feel heavy. Continue to breathe in and out, feeling your belly rise and fall beneath the weight of your bedding. And as you take in a deep breath, you notice the air has changed. It is suddenly cooler and damp, and you feel a cool mist land on your relaxed lips. The silvery mist forms a cloud around your bed and is a gateway to another world. Your breath is the vehicle, and you are the driver. And when you exhale again, you are suddenly floating through time and space to a seaside cliff of Scotland. Your feet step upon the lush emerald green blanket 
of dewy grass that ebbs and flows through the rolling landscape that spans beyond your sight. The vibrant shades of green contrast the dusty gray sky in which puffy lavender clouds drift in from the sea. Further out at sea, the underbellies of the clouds are an ominous charcoal gray and warn of a storm on its way. But for now, you have time to enjoy the last of the daylight hours before the rain begins. You inhale deeply and the salty seaside air marries the fragrant, sweet aroma of the wet grass. Your feet are adorned in lace-up boots that keep your toes dry and warm from the wet earth upon which each step leaves a small imprint. And as you walk, you feel more and more relaxed and in tune with the surrounding beauty. Your mind is so still, you feel as if you are an observer in a dream or a witness to a movie of your own life. This distance allows you to experience the world around you with a heightened awareness and appreciation. The sea is a soft whisper carried on the cool breeze that causes your breath to condense. You are wrapped in a heavy trench coat that hugs around your waist and a scarf that keeps your neck warm and comfortable. The cool, clean air is refreshing and gives you a sense of relaxation one feels when immersed in the fresh air of the countryside. There is a forest at the edge of the sprawling property, abundant with feathery pine trees that point towards the sky and narrow peaks. You hear an unusual sound as you get closer to the edge of the greenscape. The smell of pine reaches your nose and soothes you internally when you take in a deep breath. A wide patch of Kelly green moss stands out like a sandbar surrounded by fallen pine needles. You see a majestic grouse known as a capercaillie. Its shiny ebony tail is like a Japanese silk hand fan with white swatches that appear to be hand painted in quick, sharp brush strokes. He sings out to you with a gurgle and sound of a cork popping off a champagne bottle on the strike of midnight on a new year. His neck and chest are an iridescent deep shade of green and nature's thick stroke of red eyeliner rises above his eyes. With his head raised, his yellow beak curves towards the sky and looks like the beak of a bird of prey. You meet his eyes and he continues his song, once again directing his beak towards the sky. And you imagine he is warning of the storm on the way. You softly smile and nod slowly, communicating and understanding. Once abundant in Ireland and Scotland, the Copper Cayley is now an endangered breed. 
In his presence, you feel tied to the history of the land. Envisioning the days when these birds were abundant and the world was quite different. You feel connected to the land and its history, its trials through time that have landed to the here and now. A sanctuary of sorts for you and the Capricali, nestled within the glorious span on the Scottish Highlands. The Capricali turns from you and dashes into the woods. And you look to the stormy skies and decide to return to the castle. You walk along the rolling hills of the property and near the edge of a sea cliff. You open your mouth and yawn and taste the salty mist on your lips before you rise and sigh. You open your mouth and yawn and taste the salty mist on your lips before you let out a sigh. You watch the waves roll in. With an intense purpose, they slap against the rocks that surround the beach cove. And for a moment, you see how nature gives you permission to feel. The raging waves give an assurance that at times it is okay to feel stormy. The delicate rains that fall over the sea and begin to move towards land give you permission to cry and to let go of all that you are holding. When you feel full of emotions that need release, you may think of these voluminous clouds ready to pour rain onto the earth. The clouds, the sea, the land. Do not hold a grudge and cast judgment when these naturally occurring things happen. This idea inspires you to let go of judgment when you ride the wave of emotions that come with being human and being part of an ever-changing landscape. You look back towards the greenery behind you before you turn your attention towards the pink sandstone walls of the castle up ahead. The walls appear more vibrant and saturated in color in contrast to the dark grays and purples of the incoming storm. A fog is slithering in like a chiffon scarf, coating the land in a white cast, and you see its gradual movement towards land. You walk towards the castle along the coastline and soon find you are within the embrace of the fog. You can still make out the two turrets of the castle that rise above the massive structure and house bedrooms that offer coastal views like the top of a lighthouse. On a clear day, you can almost see forever. In this peaceful solitude, in the mystical fog, the constraints of time seem to disappear. For you could be anywhere in time and history now. Like in a dream, the lushness of the landscape and vividness of the experience 
is timeless. You approach a windy stone path that leads to the entrance of the five-story castle that is now wrapped in silvery white fog. You hear your feet crunch on the tiny pebbles as the first drops of rain begin to fall and splat against the earth. You look forward to the dry warmth that awaits you in the castle's historic walls. The staff is on hand waiting for you and has served the property for decades with love and care. They are like family and carefully tend to your needs. You come to the front of the castle as darkness sets in. There are two lanterns, one on each side of the main entrance, and the flames within burn brightly and illuminate the outline of the door. Even beneath the blanket of fog, you can make out the orange marmalade glow and flickering flames that burn brightly within the protective glass enclosures. You take in a deep breath as you open the oversized door. Royalty and the most creative and brilliant of minds throughout history entered through the same opening into the renowned castle as you enter the doorway, it's as if you can see the door opening through the years and the brilliant souls who graced through it. They appear like holograms, like spirits traveling on the fog, rushing into the safety of the stone dwelling. It soothes you to sense them to know how many brave souls have thrived throughout history in the sanctuary of this castle. The entrance leads to a foyer with antique furnishings and modern conveniences that honor history but provide a sense of modern comforts. In the 15th century, the castle was drafty and cool, but is now dry and toasty. You relish the sensation of the wave of warm air enveloping you. A fluffy, white, long-haired cat named Basil dashes down the grand staircase to meet you. As always, she anticipates your return and rubs up against your legs, purring affectionately. The head of housekeeping greets you. She arrives with monogrammed slippers and a velvet scarlet robe. She removes her coat and scarf and takes your wet boots as Basil weaves between both of your legs. She helps you into slippers and the robe, and you thank her before she leaves to tend to your wet belongings. On nights like this, you often like to wander the rooms of the castle, listening to how different the rain sounds in various wings. Two staircases begin at the base of the foyer and wind towards the second floor ballroom, forming a heart shape as they ascend. You take the stone stairs, feeling the smooth mahogany handrail beneath your palm. Basil races ahead, 
owning the castle with each confident step of her furry paws. She knows every cranny and hiding spot in the castle's 75 rooms. The rose-hued stone walls are illuminated by glass lanterns containing antique light bulbs. They cast the stairs in an amber hue and you feel as if you are floating through honey when you walk through the soft light. You come to a sapphire blue carpet on the landing and feel your slippered feet sink into it. It feels as plush as the moss where the capricaylee sang and you relish the sensation. There are six double doors that are more than three times your height and expand towards the high archways of the domed ceiling. You open one of the heavy doors, hearing it softly creak as you enter the ballroom. It is dimly lit by a series of three chandeliers that cause the light to reflect like illuminated petals scattered across the dark, checkered floor. Basil runs to the center of the dance floor and rolls onto her back, comfortable and playful. Windows run from the floor to the ceiling, surrounded by rich purple satin drapes that grace the floor. Black silk wallpaper covers the walls in textured floral designs. You walk to the windows and look out onto the darkness of the night. You see lightning dance across the dark sea. These flashes of light briefly fill the warmly lit room with cooler hues of white. Rain cascades down the multi-paned windows, trickling around the intricate metal grids around each pane of glass. You look to the clear drops that are slightly tinted silvery blue and take in their beauty before you close your eyes and just listen. The sounds of the rain padding on the sill and the sounds of the trickling streams of water soothes you and you feel your own fluidity, the flow of your body as you travel through the castle with ease. You open your eyes and gracefully walk to the center of the ballroom and stand beneath the middle chandelier. You look up to it and magically within each crystal you see a ball that was hosted at the castle over time. You see happy guests and orchestras playing. You admire the fashionable attire of the guests with each crystal representing a different year in time. Going back centuries, you admire the corseted gowns and regal attire of the guests, and you watch as attendees waltz around the room. In another crystal, you see a party in the mid 20th century and a woman in a red gown dancing with a dapper gentleman who leads her confidently across the very checkered floor where you now stand 
and basil rolls about. Your imagination is invoked. The dances and joyous occasions over time have seeped into the walls of the castle and you can feel the reverberations like warm, comforting waves that caress and soothe you. With a softness in your body, you walk towards an exit that leads into a library with Basil prancing behind you. Original books from heralded authors line the shelves that run from the floor to the ceiling. The ceiling is so high that a ladder on wheels is fixed to a track that runs around the perimeter of the room. Basil runs to the ladder and rubs her face against the lowest of the smooth wooden rungs. You envision the joyous fun to come from being pushed around the room on this ladder. Imagining you could absorb the wisdom of the millions of words captured on these pages through time. The room smells of old books. That sweet, musky, decadent, muted aroma weaves with the fragrance of the wood burning in the lofty, large fireplace. You take a seat on a teal velvet settee and listen to the fire crackle and the rain that falls outside the window. Basil scurries towards you and jumps onto the settee. She curls up alongside you and rests her head on your lap, purring contentedly. A staff member has left a silver tray on an antique end table. It contains a silver pot of freshly steeped tea that you pour into a delicate porcelain teacup. The botanical fragrance of the brew meets your nose in a cloud of steam and you inhale it before you sigh out your breath. You feel more relaxed than you have felt in a very long time. There is a lightness in your lungs and your heart center. As if the knots of stress that grew over time have been untied and released, like the rain now released from the storm clouds. You feel cozy, tucked in the heart of the plush seti and the velvet robe. With the tea fixed to your liking, you bring the cup to your lips and enjoy the smooth edge of it. Your lips are instantly warmed by the tea and you feel the silky liquid cascade down your throat. You look up to the seemingly endless rows of books, admiring the weathered burgundy and green and royal blue and black spines. You feel blessed to have access to all this wisdom gathered through time with words and stories that comfort you in times of your own struggle and growth. They let you know that you are not alone and you may prevail. Creating the most enjoyable personal story for you because you are the writer and storyteller of your own life. You finish the tea and rise ready to retire for the night. You exit the library to a long, dark hallway 
with a cool stone floor that is covered by a marine blue runner. In the bleary haze of tiredness, the carpet reminds you of a babbling blue stream flowing over a bed of rocks. You come to the stairwell of the north wing, which has the best views of the sea, and you climb the winding stone stairs up three flights. Your fluffy feline companion runs ahead, her soft feet pattering on the stairs. You feel the tiredness in your body the more you climb. And you appreciate your feet that have carried you through this day and through this life as you ascend up and up and further up. You arrive at the top floor. The halls are warmer and cheerier in decor. A thick cream-colored rug runs the length of the hallway. Atop the blonde wood flooring. Like a puffy cloud, it conjures thoughts of slumber and peace. When you open the doors, you enter a room that meets your fanciest of desires. Basil softly sprints into the suite. A fire is burning vibrantly in the cream-hued marble fireplace. The golden flames flicker and dance on the opulent walls. There is a canopy bed in the center of the suite, with drapes and bedding in the colors you find most tranquil. Your feline companion jumps onto the high bed and cuddles into a pillow. An antique sapphire blue glass lamp sits on a sculpted marble bed table and casts the room in marine tones. The gilded light from the fire marries the blue light and reminds you of summery days at sea when the sun reflects off the blue waters. There is a nook in the suite with an armchair and throw blanket. This chair is positioned perfectly by the window. It's the ideal place to meditate in the morning to read and journal at night. Turquoise velvet drapes hang around the bow windows that curve out over the sea cliffs. You look below to see the crashing waves, made out only by the white crests that reflect the lightning flashing across the sea. You listen to the rain continue to fall and feel enchanted by the hypnotic rhythm, listening to one drop at a time. The rolling thunder sounds like the deep tones of a softly played timpani. Nature's orchestra plays on outside the castle and the romantic setting of the Scottish Highlands. You draw the heavy curtains closed, feeling their buttery soft texture in your hands as they block out the sound and the light flashing outside. This action makes the suite feel like a cozy den, perfect for slumber. You change into a pair of satin pajamas that have been draped over the bed. 
The silky fabric feels luxurious against your skin. And you peel back the heavy bedspread and cool cotton sheets. You climb into the bed and turn off the light as you snuggle next to the purring fluffy kitty. There is a vase of dried lavender sprigs on the bedside table and the sleep inducing aroma helps you relax further as you take in a deep breath and sigh it out. The fire crackles and pops and the stormy winds blow against the castle castle that has survived many a storm and siege and always offered safety and warmth and protection within its stone walls. You close your eyes to feel your head sink deeper into the plush pillows. Going down, down, down drifting towards sleep and magical dreams. And I am going to count you down to a night of deep healing sleep. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. Finding peace, finding respite, finding sleep. Time to dream away. Good night.